Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you a very simple way to model a existing uh, windows and doors using curtain wall. Okay, so so let's start. So first, create a project. Okay, so let's 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 uh, place a wall. W A. I'm going to use a brick veneer, and then uh, create another wall. Choose um, we'll start from this one. So this one's in the edit type. Duplicate. Let's call it existing door window. So okay, and then let's do uh, just some settings. So this one automatically embed. So this one will create an uh, opening when you place on in the walls. Curtain panel system glazed and. Uh, uh, joy condition. I'll say uh, I'll just pick one for now. And uh, grid. I don't. I want to manually place grid, so I'll just leave them and now and now. Uh, mullions. Mullions. I want the border ones. Okay. So I'll just use the 55 or 150, and then I I'm going to show you. How to create a different size later. So okay, and then if I choose, uh, if I want to create that door, uh, hang on, let's go back into the uh, image. So here, uh, in Australia, uh, in Australia, the, the brick size is usually um, about we can count bricks. So it's eighty six by one ten by two forty. So here well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if I do eleven times eighty-six, so this window is roughly nine fifty wide. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen times eighty-six. It's so this door is about uh, thirteen hundred. So what I'm going to draw here, so so place it in the center, so roughly. So and then equals 950 plus 950 plus 1300. So this is this um, the uh, overall width, and then let's say this is floor level from start from here. So one, let's count the brick. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 roughly. So calculation 25 times 86. So this door is about 2150 high. So click on this uh, curtain wall. So you can just select ground floor 2150. So this will be the Head high, so this is the uh, uh, seal high. So, so this is this is uh, um, overall height and overall width. Now, so uh, I'm going to model this as one single uh, curtain wall. So, click on that, edit profile, and then uh, OF offset 950. This side, this side. And then and also let's have a look at the height of the seal height of this window. So one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven. So which is seven times times eighty-six is six hundred. So offset six hundred. And then there. So split line and then let's do some trim. So and then we will have the shape of this window and doors. So this is it. And then we need to uh, add some grid. Okay, so the first two is on this side. So here, so one on nine fifty, and this side now one on nine fifty. So and then, um, oh, okay. So I'm going to create a new um mullion size. So pick one of these, on pin and edit type, duplicate. Uh, let's say forty. By 100 and okay, so 20, 20, so it becomes 40 and 100. 
and OK. So now select this curtain wall and then edit type. So just change all these volumes to 40 by 100. And uh, OK, so all the uh, yeah, all the all the volumes of this uh, curtain wall becomes 40 by 100. So now we need to uh, create mullion. So here and here. Oh, actually, uh, I forgot to change it. Let just change that to 40 by 100. Okay, and also we can say that that's like half width of the mullion. Um, so we just edit profile, just move them by 20 mil here and 20 mil here. So and all good. So yeah, you can see a little bit this, but uh, it's okay. It's not. It's not perfect. Of course, it's not perfect. It's not even a door and window uh, family, but uh, for existing uh, conditions, I think this should be enough. Yeah. So, okay. So now we need to uh, make the door here. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, you can go insert load family. So this this door is on the curtain wall panel. It's not in the door. It's in curtain wall panel folder. So these are some doors we can use for curtain wall. So uh, I'm just going to use this one. It's, there's no um, door family look exactly like this, but uh, you can quite easily um, edit this family to match that one. So before that, I'm going to delete this mullion. So because we we don't need the mullion there. So these are like a frame. But yeah, so we can just use mullion. Um, and then we need a grid in the center. So go curtain grid. This one. And uh, just delete this one. Yep. You need to unpin and delete. So then mullion. Oh no no sorry not mullion. So tab select this panel and this one as well and then unpin and then go to door so this is the door we loaded and then so we, want, we just need to go to floor plan and see uh just make sure it's in the uh, right uh, direction and then let's go back to 3d view so just pretend this look exactly like this okay so now we need to do some um, these bars, so little things. So we can just create them up from these mullions. Just duplicate and uh, maybe let's say 20 by 20 and uh, change the dimension 10, 10, 20 and OK. And then, so before we place mullion, a uh, mullion, we need grid. So grid, vertical, here, vertical, here. And then, so for the horizontal one, if you if you click this one, you will see this door, this uh, this grid here as well. So what you can do is click that, remove, and then remove. Okay, so now, so it we can um, this is uh, one way to do it. So you can just add and then remove or let me just control Z, go back, and or you can just add single uh, segment. So go curtain grid, one segment, and here. And also you can't once you have this one. So if you move your cursor here, you can't place it at the same like uh, uh, height. So what you need to do is cancel this, go back, select this, select this, and then add. So at here, at here, and at here. So yeah, I um I prefer to do it this way because once if you add a grid all the way along there, you might just create a little. Uh, sometimes you will you might break break uh, the family, break the uh, curtain wall or the panels. Yeah. Okay. So now we need to place the mullion. So mullion, twenty by. 20 here, so place here, here, and here. So, um, oh, this this one looks 
no, I select it and then change it to 40 by 100. So yeah, roughly um that's that's pretty much it. So this is for existing conditions. So usually uh I I won't model a proper window and door family just for existing. So it, I'll just use curtain wall and then either demolish it or just keep it. So okay, so that's it for today. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know, and uh, I'll see you next time.